So, good morning. It is match day. It is match day today. We have got a game against Sheffield United later on today. Three o'clock kickoff. Uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled. I will be doing a watch along for that game um, with Guna Eagle Eye. Uh, his link is in the description of this video, so make sure you go and subscribe to him. He's my partner in streams, and we do all the games. Uh, we watch them together. Everyone gets um, in the comment section. We have a good laugh with it, hopefully. Um, we will be laughing and hopefully that will be because we've absolutely battered Sheffield United. Now, it's not going to be easy, as we know. Um, we lost to them at Bramall Lane in October and um, it was kind of embarrassing. It was a game where we just didn't really look like we wanted it physically. We didn't look like we wanted to create anything and it was, it was kind of the beginning of the end. Well, it wasn't the beginning of the end, but it was near the end for... Um, Don or fraud in the end it turned out to be Unai Emery um, now like I said we have got a game really super excited for it and um, I will be doing a starting 11 reaction as soon as that drops and then the watch along so subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, do drive the likes up that always helps but um, we're linked to quite a few players today in and out um, we'll start off with the main one and that is uh, Levin Kazawa now Levin Kazawa um, has apparently been offered a five-year contract. Five years. Um, I'm kind of overwhelmed by this. Like, uh, like wow, five years. We're giving him a five-year deal. Unbelievable. Um, like I've said on previous transfer videos that I've done, it's like, don't quite understand what we see in this guy. I don't get it. I, listen, he's a good player. You don't play for PSG for as long as you did. If you're not a good player, they'd replace you. We know what they're like. They um, they go out and get what they want pretty much all the time. Uh, Neymar and Mbappe prove that. But um, they are letting him go. And um, there is a five-year contract on the table, apparently. Um, he has also um, changed agents. He actually tweeted that out there. He put it on social media that he's changed agents. And um, he's going with a company called Sport Invest UK now. Um, so, yeah, that was the um, the company that William and Philippe Coutinho are represented by. Um, so I don't know whether that means um, anything in the grand scheme of things, um, but I know a lot of players this time, um, last couple of months, this month, have started to change agents. Um, Eddie Nketi is one of them. He's obviously stayed. Uh, Mustafi, he's changed agents as well. There's a lot of them that are changing agents at the moment. So, But um, Raul, St. Haley, he is leading up the negotiations on this one. And like I said, there is a five-year deal on the table. Now, he's, he's played over 100 games for PSG. His, his goal-scoring record and his assist record is actually really decent. 114 games, I think it is. Sorry, 119 games, um, 14 goals, 19 assists, which for a left-back is very, very good. But at the same time, for me, it's defensively that he's the issue. And... Um, it's funny because obviously he's been linked for the last couple of days. Apparently Raul's going out to do the deal. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, Kieran Tierney's back in training. Um, not full training. He was doing some stretching. Um, he'd done some light jogging yesterday. And um, Arsenal social media team put that out on, um, on their platforms. And it's good to see he's back. Listen, we spent a lot of money on this guy in the summer. And we ain't really seen the best of him or any of him, really. Um, he's played a few League Cup games, a few Premier League games. And... Um, in the games he's played, it's actually looked really good. But I, I'm still baffed at this uh, Kazawa deal. Obviously, Kalazanak came in on a free signing um, a few seasons ago. Does this mean that we're going to let him go? Um, I don't know. But listen, Kieran Tierney, um, please get fit. Just come back, mate. This is where we're at right now. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, let's move on to Bruno Giramesh. Um, now, reports coming out suggest that Edu Gaspar is leading up the negotiations on this one and um, Benfica are leading the way. Now, I'm not sure how true that is, but apparently Benfica are the only team to have put a bid in, and um, Arsenal haven't launched a bid for him yet. Um, Chelsea have joined the race room as well, apparently, so now it's a three-way battle. Now, I'm not too convinced that Chelsea want him or even need him, but Benfica are the front runners because they have tabled a bid of 17.4 million with 4.1 million as add-ons. Um, they want a little bit more than that, um, Atletico Pyrenees, they want about £26 million for him. Now, again, I spoke about him in previous transfer videos. I'm not convinced again by this guy. I don't know enough about him to, to form a proper solid opinion on him. Um, you can only go by what you see, what you read. And um, 
for me, it's uh, another, mm, why didn't we go and do an extra 20 million and get a better player? But then on the flip side of that, he could come in and he could be the next Jovino, couldn't he? Um, Jovino? I'm talking about Gilberto Silva, Jovino. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's a bit early in the morning. It's about 10 past five I'm recording this. So yeah. <laughs> Jovino. <laughs> he could be the next Gilberto Silva. Um, but again, on the flip side of that, he might be another Granite Xhaka or a Guendouzi or someone like that that's mm, not quite there. For me, I'd go for somebody um, a little bit more established, people um, in the Premier League, players in the Premier League, maybe a Decore. Um, his goal scoring record is um, is not fantastic, although that's not his job. His job's to try and link play. Um, but again, it's, it's another sign in that if we do it, listen, we'll back him, obviously. Um, he'll be a new boy to the club. He's obviously got that link with Gaspar, um, Edu Gaspar. He's got the link with Martinelli as well. And um, some of these players in Brazil, they do look um, they do look great and then they come and flop. Other players do look um, good and then they come and smash it. So um, fingers crossed that if this guy does come in for about 20 odd million pounds, that um, he does hit the ground running. And um, hopefully he makes our midfield better because that's somewhere we're, we're massively, massively in big, big problems right now. We don't score enough goals. We don't help out the defence enough in midfield. And that, for me, is the biggest issue, rather than defence. But that leads me on nicely um, to defence. Now, um, Skodra Mustafi, again, another one um, that's been linked with a move away, another one that's changed agent. And, um, you know, Mikel Arteta has came out the other day and said, look, we want him, we want him to stay. We think that um, we've had a chat with him. I've told all of the players that... Um, you know, if they if they try and they commit themselves to the club, then I'll try and play them. But on the flip side of that, he also then said, um, "But if players are not committed, then we have to invent something to try and and, and move them on." Um, now, could Mustafi be out of the club? Who knows? Galatasaray have been linked heavily with him. Um, I don't think he's happy here. He put something out on um, on Arsenal Twitter page the other day, an interview where he sat down and he said, "Look, I read the social media." And um, it has got to me. I've been affected by it. One mistake and um, the other 89 minutes are all forgotten. Everyone remembers that one bad mistake, which is very true. Um, but at the same time, I think it would be best for both parties if we cut ties with him. I think he'd do so much better league than Arsenal. And I think that we'd get a few quid in from it. It won't be a massive amount of change, but it's something. It gets his wages of reportedly 90 grand a week off of the wage bill. And... Um, who knows? Anyway, let's move on to a centre-back that we are linked to, and that is Nathan Aki. Now, Tottenham are also linked. Chelsea, the other day, I mentioned that they're not going to activate the £40 million um, release clause or the buyback clause, whatever you want to call it, and um, they're not interested in that, which leaves the door open for us and Tottenham. Now, um, this is a guy that I've rated a lot in the last couple of years. Now, we know that he's been out injured. Um, is he going to come back the same Nathan Aki as before he got his injury? We don't know that. Um, but for me, 40 million quid, um, I don't know whether that's 40 million for Chelsea or 40 million for everyone, but Chelsea get first dibs on him. I'm not too sure. If any of you guys do know that, please help me out and leave that in the comment section. I would be grateful. Um, but this is a guy that I think could walk straight into our defence. Um, David Luiz, Socrates, although they've looked really good this season since Arteta's come, um, going forward into next season, they'll both be in the last year of their contract. So get rid of both of them. Um, Chambers and Holding can be good backups to uh, Saliba and to Aki and I think that them four as a, as a back line um, centre backs I think that any four of them combined would be decent I like Rob Holding um, I've changed my mind on Callum Chambers after seeing his performances this season I do actually think he's half decent um, last season and beyond and before that I didn't really get it um, since he's played at centre back this season I think he's been really really good and it's tragic that he's got that injury but it is what it is. Um, it's always Arsenal to end up with these long-term injuries, isn't it? But um, leave it all in the comments section. Let me know what your thoughts are about Leighton Kazawa. Should we be giving this guy a deal, let alone a five-year deal? Um, what about um, Giramesh? Um, is he worth the money? Is he worth the hype? Do you think he will do well? Again, in the comments section, leave that. Skodron Mustafi, let me know your thoughts on him. Um, I think I pretty much know them already. And um, Nathan Aki, is he all that? Is he worth the £40 million um, price tag that Bournemouth have put on him? I will be back for the starting 11 reaction an hour before kickoff today. And then at kickoff, I will be doing the watch along with Guna Eagle Eye, 
check out the um, the links in the description for his channel and also my Facebook, Insta and Twitter if you do want to go and follow them. Um, until the starting 11 reaction, have a wonderful Saturday morning. Latest peeps.